Welcome back students. In my previous video, we have done a question based on nature of haloalkanes. Remember, whenever you are doing questions based on nature of haloalkanes, CBSC expects us to learn topics which cover first the under nature it would be our bond length question. We have to study questions based on bond enthalpy. We have to study equations based on dipole movement. So, we have been doing questions based on all these topics. So, let us see one more question based on bond enthalpy. Yes, just here see. Now, there is a question given to us. Let me first read the question and we will try to answer that question. Based on bond energy or bond enthalpy values, explain why Ci is more reactive than CCl. As we know when we write the series, first comes your Cf, then your, uh, again the same thing, any substituent, fluorine, chloro, bromo, iodo, yes, fine. Now, among all these they have given me or they have given me or they've compared between these three or these four uh, molecules and let me justify the answer. So below this they have given CCl has maximum bond energy then comes CBr, CCl maximum energy then comes CBr and the least is 213.5 is Ci. Now I have to justify this answer. Let us come back and write the answer. Now I know when I clearly or when data is given to me mentioning bond energy or bond enthalpy is less. I clearly can see bond enthalpy in this case is very very less. It's very less. Here bond enthalpy is more. So simple. What? This is common to common here. This is also common. This is also common. What is differing? The size of halogen atom. That's most important. Here when we just go down from fluorine to iodine, we always know the atomic number increases. When the atomic number increases, the atomic size increases. When the atomic size increases, number of shells also increase. Yes, it's the same story here. Here, in this particular case, first I'll write my answer. Yeah, in CI, in case of CI, CI, we I'm going to write atomic size is larger. Yes, compared to CL. Done. Next important, as the same thing I have written there, we will be writing it again. When the atomic size is larger, what will happen? How is the bond here in between carbon and iodine? Yes, now automatically we know bond length would be, bond length would be larger. Yes, compared to this because this is highly electronegative, this is going to drag, this is also highly electronegative but the size of the atom is larger. So bond length would be larger. When the bond length is larger, for me it is very easy to break the bond. I can easily apply less energy to break the bond. So bond energy would be less. Yes, when the bond enthalpy or bond energy is very less, now I've easily or I've used less energy to break this bond. What will happen to the reactivity? Here I have to use 326.4 kilojoules per mole to break this. Here I can use 213.5 kilojoules per mole to break this. So when I'm breaking or bond energy would be less, I can easily pull out this iodine. Yes, when I can easily pull out this iodine, what will happen to the reactivity? Yes, automatically we say, the reactivity increases. When the reactivity increases, are we not justifying the question given to us? Yes. So atomic size larger. Yes. Done. Bond length would be larger. So the distance is larger. When the distance is larger, I can easily break this bond. So bond energy would be less. When the bond energy is less, reactivity automatically increases. You will just write this. Thus, based on the values, Ci is more reactive than CCl. This is how you are going to justify your answer. Thank you for watching. 